I'm going to use this Bernat Baby Blanket yarn. It calls for an 8mm hook, but I'm going to use a 10mm. We're going to start by making a chain. You can make this chain as long as you would like the blanket to be wide. I'm going to make 57. You can make it as long as you'd like, but make sure that you end on an odd number. Now that we're done with our chain, we're going to start with the pattern, and it's very easy. It's going to consist of double crochets and single crochets. You're going to start with a double crochet, and then the next stitch is going to be a single crochet. You're going to do this all the way down of your chain. You're going to end with a single crochet. So you're starting double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, all the way down. Now I'm at my last two stitches, which is this double crochet, and I'm ending with a single crochet. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and do that exact same pattern all the way down, with starting with the double crochet and following with a single crochet. This is the finished second row, and as you can see, it's the pattern is creating a little bit of a bump. That's because the double crochet is being pushed out by the single crochet. So I'm going to use a few of these uh, skeins to get to the length that I want, and let's just see how long these nails last me in the creation of this blanket. <laughs> I'd finished the first skein, and I put it in, on my cutting mat so I can measure it out. We are at 16 inches long and about 33 and a half inches wide. I connected the second skein with a knot or a running knot. I'm not sure what it's called, but you make one knot with one of the strings on one of the strings and then a knot on the other string with the other. I'm pretty sure that doesn't make sense, but hopefully this kind of shows what technique I'm using. Um, once you have both knots, you just pull those two together. And I love that I'm not even doing this anywhere near the camera, so sorry. Uh, but then I can just work with this one string all the way down, just following the same pattern of the single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, until I get to the length that I want. After finishing that second skein, this is what my blanket is looking like. I decided that two is going to be enough because this is going to be for a little baby. So I had originally recorded this using this green um, yarn. However, the footage isn't super clear, so I'm going to cut over to this section so that you can see what I'm going to do on the border. I made this small sample blanket just so that I can show what I'm doing in this border. So right here I'm at the last stitch and I'm going to attach my border yarn. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and work a single crochet all the way down this top section. And I'm going to catch both strands of yarn in the back so that I don't have to weave them later, but you can weave them if you'd like. On the last stitch, you are going to make three single crochets in that same stitch. This is going to allow for a nice corner. Now we're going to start working on the side. You're going to do a single crochet on the bottom of the double crochet and then on the top of the next double crochet. Again here, this is the bottom of the double crochet and then this right here is the top. And you're going to do this all the way down until you get to the next corner. 
Now that I'm here in the corner of my piece, I'm going to make another three single crochets. In each corner, you're going to have three single crochets in that stitch. Then you're going to continue the single crochet up until the next corner where you will make three single crochets in that corner. And the other side where you'll put the single crochets on the top and bottoms of the double crochets. Now we're back to where we started and you're going to put two single crochets in that one because you've already put the first one that you started with. Then you're going to attach these together. I'm kind of like tightening it and I uh, just want to show you how this is kind of looking. Obviously this is super tiny um, and it'll look different when you make it on the actual blanket, but you could see the corners down here, they look a lot better than if you were to just make one single crochet, it would curl in on itself. So for the next row, you're just going to do the same thing of single crochet all the way around and in the corner sections where you had the three single crochets, you are going to put three single crochets in the middle of the three from the previous row. And you will continue this all the way around your border. I like to make three lines of a border on my blankets. So I'll show you in a bit how that looks, but for demonstration purposes, I made it with this green yarn. Uh, for the actual blanket, I made it with the same color yarn of the blanket. So I can show you what it looks like completed. And here is the final blanket. I've always made my blankets with this pattern. I love making it with this uh, brand of yarn and they're super comfortable. Plus they don't have those really big holes which crochet blankets can have. I just really love them and they're super cozy. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this one. If you make this blanket, please make sure to share it with me on social media, on Instagram or TikTok. I always love seeing your makes. I also have a Ko-fi account if you would like to leave me a tip. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.